Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I've been up to. Got another uh, book update. Just some more books added into my horror collection. Uh, most of them I got off Amazon. Uh, just a few of the older ones I got off eBay, just because um, with eBay I can... If the seller lists de decent pictures, I can uh, see how the how can good of the condition the books are in. So uh, that's about it. Just those two places, mostly. Oh, peanut, get back! Sorry about that. Get back! Get back! All right, I don't want to start all over. Um, okay. Sorry. Here we go. Um, first up, let me scoot this over here. So some of it can be a surprise for you, you know. Ah, uh, screw it. First up is volume one of uh, the official Splatter movie guide. Uh, this one I did get off Amazon. These are pretty cheap. Didn't really need this one because I got some other amazing books, but it just looks like a lot of fun. And I'm glad I did uh, pull the trigger on this one. So volume one, it's got um, pretty fun read. I flipped through it, uh, read a few reviews of some of the movies I've, mm -hmm. I've always loved over the years and was interested in and a few pictures here and there all black and white photos as you can see and yes i'm still doing these videos with one hand i am going to get a stand i'm going to get a camera stand <laughs> that's my goal for when i do these videos i need one so that's that volume one pretty cool this is by john mccarty i had a few of his books so that one um volume two is uh yeah uh vol yeah volume two um official splatter movie guide and i like that they use the drill for the cover that's pretty cool here's the back uh, i apologize if i'm talking a little too fast i'm just um a little nervous with having my uh, dog here i usually i forgot to close the gate i have a gate in the hallway just so she doesn't um, start chewing on things because she's a pup. She likes to chew stuff. She knows I'm talking about her. Um, there's a couple pictures here. That's pretty cool. I believe that is, yeah, Fright Night Part 2. Fun books. Uh, I have books that cover uh, all these movies, but I, I wanted to go ahead and um, get these splatter books as well just because they're fun and interesting to read and uh just another take on other people's thoughts or reviews of the movies so that's volume two next is one i got off ebay called uh, dreadful pleasures an anatomy of modern horror james b uh twitch twitch hell if i'm saying that right and i'm gonna just gonna be honest and just say uh the cover art to this book reeled me in that's you know, I, I mean, I read a few reviews of the book. It's all a lot of positive reviews. Old book, uh, published in, what, 85? Or that's when it won an award. But solid, uh, solid read. As you can see, a few uh, pictures here and there, illustrations. Yeah. Had to get that, and uh, yeah, just being honest, the, the awesome uh, cover art to this book um, made me jot it down on my wish list, and uh, found a copy on eBay for like peanuts, really. So that's that. Dreadful pleasures. Uh, pretty cool. Here's the write up on the back. Um, I'm. Was this is one series that I was always curious about. Uh, this is volume one of Cinema Sewer. Not sure if I'm wanting to continue on collecting more of these because um, I have to be careful when I thumb through here because it's um, very pornographic. But they're all like hand-drawn illustrate. Well, not all of them. Uh, hand-drawn illustrations. Some of them are uh, actual pictures, um, scenes from the movies. But it's uh, it's all written like this, which is not too bad on my eyes. But yeah, I'm not I'm not crazy about trying to read books that uh, have the wording be this way. Uh, this example here is not 
not too bad. There's some that really like the writing gets really sloppy, but this this isn't bad. I might go after the other volumes. I'm not sure, but this is volume one. There's seven volumes so far, and we've got an eighth volume coming out sometime later this year. But uh, pretty cool. Um, I just wish I could thumb through most of this for you, but it's a very uh, pornographic, so I can't do that. But pretty late to the party on this one. This series has been out uh, for years, and it's just one I've always been curious about because I see it advertised in magazines when I collected magazines back then. I always see the, this series advertised back then. I'm rambling. Okay, uh, next is uh, Asian Shock horror and dark cinema from Japan, Korea, Hong Kong, and Thailand. I uh, had a lot of fun with this one. There's definitely a few movies in this book I still need to get my hands on that this book covers. Um, I'm working on that. I'm just kind of being patient about not going after some of the movies um, because I just feel like any day now they're going to hit Blu-ray. So I'm trying to be patient. And uh, and besides, some of these movies... Um, or have been long out of print, so it's kind of hard to get, get my hands on. So I hate to pay high prices when the Blu-ray just gets announced, that kind of situation. So uh, I have most of these. Um, have I seen most of these? I've seen about half, so I'm getting there. <laughs> but pretty cool book. Um, I've got another book that's a bit uh, heftier. It covers uh, a lot of the same movies. But I wanted to go after this one because it just looked pretty cool, and I'm glad I did. It's a, done structured very well. So, very cool. So that's that. And then Volume 2, which just got re-released, so that's, that's a good thing because it, it, it was long out of print. So Volume 2 of The Vault of Horror uh, from the EC Archives collection here is what's included through this volume this is what you get my dog gave up she just like walked away i'll get her some attention later i feel bad for not she's wanting some attention so i feel bad not giving giving that to her but Pretty cool. The next story. Yeah, I'm very addicted to these. Um, I don't know how... I forget how many volumes are in each each one of these archive series. So this is volume two. I have volume one. Um, so I think there's like four in each. So I'm getting there. So pretty cool. Very addicted to the... To, get my hands on this and finally i got um volume three this was the only one that i was missing out of the four volumes is three three was like a pain in the ass to try and get a hold of for like a reasonable price it kept it was just sold out on amazon for a while uh so i, I believe it was two and three for me that was a, a, just a pain in the ass to try to get my hands on for like a good uh just a good deal so pretty cool uh, i have to be careful thrumming thumbing through here for you um a lot of nudity uh youtube is just stupid like that so i'm trying to let me see if i can get a few pictures here this is pretty cool that's beautiful i love that pretty simplistic with the colors there don't need a whole lot sometimes less is more can't show that can't show that um, I love that all, all these books have a very well write, um, write up about the uh, the artist, so that's really cool. Um, that's awesome. Kind of creepy. <laughs> so sex and horror. I'll show you the other. Other three volumes are over here. So now all four volumes. Uh, yeah, three was the one I was missing and was a pain in the ass for like the longest time to get. So I, I got that off of Amazon. Finally, Amazon had more in stock. So just have to wait. Have to wait until it pops up for uh, the, the, you know, close to the original uh, 
the sale price. So that's that. Pretty cool. Here's a write-up in the well, it's not really much of a write-up in the back, is there? Okay. And then collecting these when I can. I'm getting there. This one is um Devil Tales. Again, the chilling archives of horror comics. Uh what volume is this or number? Um 14. So I'm slowly getting there, uh, getting all these. Uh, very beautiful, um, well-made books. Uh, here's the back. And the prices for these books are just so up and down, it's ridiculous. Um, just have to play the waiting game on most of these. Looks like Vincent Price right there. So pretty cool. Ghoul's gold. <laughs> I like that. Instead of fool's gold, ghoul's gold. Awesome. All right. Cool. Restack these. Just so I don't mess them up. Yeah, I might go after these. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with the Cinema Sewer series. Um, we'll see. I've got a long enough wish list to have this be a long-running series as is. Uh, next is um, Ghoulish, uh, The Art of Gary Pollan. This is one of those books I've been wanting to... Uh, finally get and um, had a seller pop up uh, this is Amazon as well pop up uh, for a really 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 good deal probably because it's got the um, little bend right there that's okay uh, so I got this for pretty cheap um, um, these books don't they're not expensive anyway but I, I, up, I managed to get this one for a cheaper price there is the write-up And amazing artwork. I have some of these, some of his work on some of the soundtracks I've collected. I've, I've noticed. I didn't even know that until I started flipping through this book. And I was like, ah, okay. I'm familiar. Let me use my other hand. I'm left-handed, so I should be doing that. Let's see. <clears throat> I did not start this video off well, did I? Okay. Yeah, see? Recognize that. And I believe a lot of his work has been used for uh, physical media which is cool look at that that is beautiful i got this in not too long ago so i haven't really had time to take advantage of this book too much but just going by the reviews and seeing a few pictures online i knew i had to have this one um, i believe arrow used that one that one looks familiar deadly blessings one right there yeah Really cool. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Uh, this was used for the soundtrack. Oh, no, did I lose it? Oh, there it goes. For um, House. That is absolutely gorgeous. You know he had fun drawing that. And so is that. That's that's beautiful too. I already think that's iconic. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the demons. Uh, he's either demons or demons too. And it, it also had a hand, but it was like a row of a uh, an audience, like a like a, as if they were in a theater. Um, just had these rows of seats with a hand holding the audience. I always love that image as well. That's what it reminds me of. Maybe he took inspiration from that. I'm not sure. But 
still pretty cool and original the way he did it that's cool that was uh used for the scream soundtrack i remember that kicking myself for not getting that one uh, i missed out on that um maybe they'll uh re-release it at some point hopefully using that that's pretty creative with the um how you work the phone in into the mouth like that that's pretty neat oh that's gorgeous black christmas uh, the Canadian um, Blu-ray used the cover art for that. I remember that. Um, that's beautiful as well. Oh, I got to be quick about this. Uh, I'll, I could be here all day um, thumbing through here. That's beautiful. It's a Mondo uh, prints. I recognize some of these. That was a great movie. Uh, the editor. The Void as well. That was awesome. Some practical effects. Pretty cool. So yeah, I had to get this book. Um, Ghoulish, uh, Gary Pullen. Finally joining the party and getting after this one. So happy to have that for the horror movie. I mean, excuse me, horror book collection. And then had to get this one. Uh, another one off of Amazon. Um, Hung, Drawn, and Executed, The Horror Art of Gary Humphreys. I've had my eye on this one for a while. And, uh, yeah, just book as beautiful as this goes for, like, for a good price, uh, in my opinion. Not bad. Uh, $25, something like that. Um, just under $30 for, for all this. Ooh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, was it three? No, the creep. Freaks. I'm not familiar with that. Maybe that's a podcast or something. I'll have to read up on that. Beautiful stuff. Kaltiki. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this guy does amazing work. Spot on illustrations here. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that one before. Was that a poster? <laughs> that's pretty cool. I like that. Back in 2014. That's got some years on it already. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. That, that is really cool. Ooh. Food chain. Never heard of it. I'll have to read. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to look into that. See what that's about. Hmm. Okay. I'll make note of that. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, it's all awesome, but pretty cool. I haven't seen that one before. That's my that's my favorite out of all the puppets. I love Tum Tumblr. I've always loved Tumblr. Just looks so happy, but yet so deadly. <laughs> Ghost story. That's really cool. Some HP Lovecraft goodness. <laughs> Some of these might be. Um, covers the books i don't know so i have to I have to read up on these um ah well which edition was this one used for that looks familiar um strip nude for your killer i believe or no what movie is this um don't remember ah, something beach psycho at the beach or something like that you guys are screaming at me i know i don't remember i've got a brain fart right now but awesome. Oh, Spider Baby. That's a good one. I remember that one. Um, of course, I remember the movie. What I mean is I remember the um, seeing that um, 
cover art there. Awesome stuff. So glad to finally get that into the collection. Uh, and now I got an old one. Um, I got a few uh, older horror movie books on my wish list. This was one of them. This is one I got off eBay because I wanted to make sure I got one that was in decent condition. Uh, this is the Pictorial History of Horror. And I just love the simplicity and overall gothic tone this book has going for it. As far as cover. As far as cover goes. Protective sleeve is in decent condition. That's a cool movie. Ah, what mo Doom Watch? That's that's the movie. I haven't seen I haven't seen that one in a while. But yeah, I'm definitely a fan of Doom Watch. And that's that scene right there. That's that that's coming from. I've not thumbed through this one. I just got this one in uh, a few days ago. I just check it to make sure pages aren't falling out. You know what I mean? Like if the glue's dry and it's all, but that's uh, really good condition. So the seller did not lie. So that's a good thing. And this book to this day doesn't go for, um, doesn't go for big money. So thankfully I, I, could, I got this for a really good deal. Was this written by? Uh, oh, Dennis Gifford, right there. Duh. Well, pretty cool. Um, all right. So that's the horror book cl collection update for me. Uh, as always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by and just seeing what I've been up to with collecting. I will get back on the collecting collection update. Um, one eighteen. Uh, movie of course a few movies have piled up so i'll get to that uh soon so um i know the rest of this month is going to be crazy for me so i at least wanted to just get these out of the way just so i can get them put up and put up on the uh the shelf so as always i'm rambling uh take care guys have a good summer uh later